Okay, okay, we're going to set up the controller again for synchronizing and paralleling up of two generators under certain loads. We're going to turn the unit on. We're going to change the toggle here from off to load requirement, uh, request, sorry. And then we're going to now make sure the emergency stop button is out, make sure that the circuit breaker, uh, motorized circuit breaker is in auto and not manual or locked. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's in program, which it is. And now we're going to go to the parameter settings. Program function, enter. Go to parallel operations, number eight. Enter, we're going to go to load function. Oop, back, load function. Okay, so that's the eight, eight two one. Yep. Is load function enabled? Yes. Yes. So just to show them how to do it, we just go enter. Right. So you so that it goes flashing, the, the cursor goes flash. You can go up and down to, to change it. So we're gonna put it back into yes and we're gonna go enter. And that records it. And then we go up again to the next parameter. Load function mode, three rotation hours, and that's yep. correct, that's what we want. So go up again. Master gen set address, this is number two, and the other generator is number one. So so the settings will be correct. Uh, master gen set change time, uh, we're going to leave that on 000 as default. Master gen set batch hours, we're going to leave that on zero. That function is to do with um, rotating the master uh, one and two units uh, for uh, having different operations on the control. Next one, activation load threshold, we're going to leave it for training purposes, we're going to leave it on 12.5%. Normally you would have it probably floating around 70-80% depending on uh, the temperature and, and, and other details. Next one, activation load delay. So there's a three second delay for that to work. Deactivation load threshold. So normally it's below the, the uh, activation threshold, which is for training purposes is 10%. Normally you'd probably have that around 70 or 60%. Um, next, and then the delay is 30 seconds. Initial observe, just uh, leave it at five and it should be uh, back to the normal Zip. one again. So basically you go exit, everything is in. Exit, so go back to that generator screen. Now just scroll sideways, and then you can see a couple of different readings. So you can see some mains reading, which isn't active. Power factors, uh, yep, keep going. Synchronization, you can see it when it synchronizes. Parallel function, that's when you can see it um, when it's in parallel mode. And then back to the generator. Okay, so now that's in, um, we'll just leave that for the moment. We'll set up the other generator. So there is a connection there too. You need to have the plug here. That needs to be in to block that off to stop any interference. Then this cable is connected up to the second generator, sorry, or the first generator to here so that they can communicate. So we do this with the, uh, the first unit. This is the actual master unit. Turn it on. We have to change that toggle to load request. Make sure emergency stop is out. That is in automatic mode. Now we go uh, to uh, program function. Yep. Then we go down to parallel operations. Then we go to load functions. Yes, so because these two controllers are communicating, they should actually be the same, but we're just going to check them. Ours, that's right. This one is number one, the other one is number two. Yes, zero. Yes, nothing. Twelve and a half percent. Yes, that's correct. Three second delay should be nine or ten percent. That's correct. The other one should be 30 seconds. Five. We're back to it. Okay, so now we exit out of there. Back onto the generator panel. That's it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start one unit up. So we're going to go, we're going to start up in manual mode, just as safety precaution, so we can check the generator. Start it up manually. Now we can check the, we can check the generator readings. We can also check the engine readings. Okay, so we need to make sure that we get the unit up to speed first before we uh, put it into automatic test. So put it in auto, the circuit breaker engages, the 
unit now is now active. Okay, we need to activate the uh, second generator. Okay, so we start it up in manual. Get up to speed. And then we put it in automatic. Circuit breaker, show. Switch on. The unit is now synchronized. Yeah, that shoots shut down. So basically now, uh, there is no load. Is that right? Yeah. So the second unit, which is this one, this one should shut down. So it'll wait for a while before it senses that there's no load. But at the moment it's in load sharing operation. So we're just waiting for it. Circuit breaker off. Cooling cycle now. So the generator is now shutting down because there is no load. And number one generator will take the load uh, of, of what is on or what's not active. Until we heat, until we hit 12.5% of the output of the generator, the second generator will not activate. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to wait for this generator to shut down, which at the moment is uh, 93 seconds to shut down for cooling off. So what we might do, we might just stop it. How do I clear it? Was I supposed to do that? <laughs>